In this video, I'm going to show you how you can schedule reminders for clients in your Excel. I have a sheet with the February calendar of this year on it. And so let's pretend that uh, the client has done work with us or purchased something on February 6th. So I want to send some follow up uh, emails to this person. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the add reminders button here and it's going to bring up a user form. So let's put in um, a username of AAAA and the service date we're going to put in the 6th of uh, 2004 and the type of remind is we have service reminder, voicemail, postmail, or final email. And so I'm going to select service reminder and then if you press tab, it will show you, it's going to remind you to send a reminder every three weeks. And so I'm going to go enter. So here we have, so let's go clear form and then close this. And so on your information sheet, we have a list, you can have a list of 20 things along the type of reminders. The reminders goes every three weeks, so this is what you put in this column, and they start in three months. And so now that we have entered one, well, let's go and let's go further over here. And so we have a reminder for this client starting on May 6th, and then there's another reminder on, on May 27th, and all the way till the end. Now, so let's go and let's make another calendar. So I'm going to the main menu and I'm going to click on run calendar. So I would like to find out what May looks like. So what I'm going to do is put 512024 and I'm going to go enter. So now it has made the calendar for me, but it's put in that I have to remind this this client this client on um, May May sixth and May twenty uh, seventh. Now, if we go back to the information page, so if we create one for um, for June and July, you will have reminders on all of those. So this does not send the email; it's simply to remind you to send this client information or an email regarding uh, their next service or thanking them or whatever. So let me show you how I did this. So this is my user form and it simply has the name, date and select the type of remind. And the remind is based on a named range and it's called name. And then it provides the weeks, it displays the weeks that you have. So let's double click on the enter button so we can see the code. And so um, what we're going to do is we're declaring the start date as what you have in there and the end date is from the calendar. So when you're on, when you're creating a new calendar, the start date is whatever is in B1 and the end date is whatever is in H34. Now um, it has defined that uh, name equals text box uh, three text start date number of weeks and tax gives the combo button that's your drop down button and so now we're going to activate our our information sheet here and so what we're going to do we're going to find the task name in our on our information sheet and then when we find the task name then we're going to offset to to find the value of the number of months before they start the start date if we is a, the start date equals months times 30, I'm assuming every month is 30 days. In the new information sheet, what it's doing is determining the last row so it doesn't have, doesn't put things on top of each other. And then what it's doing, it's putting in the information. Um, last row, nine is name, 10 is task, 11 is start date. And then what it's doing is it's creating the reminders for all of these uh, extra for the next one, it's the second one equals number of weeks times seven. Uh, and then it's putting that in, in column 12. 
and the same thing for all the rest. So that's how you set them up. Now let me show you the calendar, how it, what it does. When you create the calendar, you call this program and it, this program is basically looking at the active sheet and if the, if the start date and the end date is from your active sheet, which is your calendar month, then if the, what it's doing is it's looking for all your reminder dates. And if that, those dates fall in between the start date and the end date, then it's going to find all the information from your information sheet. And then it's going to go and find the date on your calendar between, um, it's, it's broke, broken down to five weeks and it's looking in all of them. When it finds them, it's going to put the active cell value equals the name plus a dash, press the task name and the number. So if it's the first reminder, it'll have a one there and the last reminder will have a five there. Now let's go back to the sheet for a second. So you're in May and you have the true reminders in May. And now let's say the person or the company has come back on the 27th to get um, another set of service. So what we can do is we don't need to ha have reminders anymore. You would start again. And so what you would do is you would go back to your information sheet and just delete this so you wouldn't have any more reminders for this uh, original service. I will, of course, include the code for the reminders in my video on the description. I will find also have a link for how to create the calendars because I won't have enough room to put it on the description in this video. Please subscribe.